Namaste lovely souls and welcome back to Artist at Living. Today we embark on a profound journey together, delving into transformative rules that have the power to shape our lives for the better. Join me as we explore the depths of mindful eating, the serenity of meditation and the uplifting force of positive thinking. From self-love to harnessing the subconscious mind, each principle we uncover holds the key to unlocking our true potential. So, sit back, relax, and let's embark on this enlightening adventure together. Welcome to Artist at Living, where we embrace the art of living fully and consciously. Have you ever thought about how old wisdom can help us today? Can learning from the past improve our health and happiness, what if these ancient ideas could make your life better right now? Let's start a journey into the heart of Buddhist teachings. These aren't just old stories. They are like keys that unlock new ways to be healthy and happy in our busy world. This journey is more than just learning. It's about making real changes in our lives. Changes that start inside us and reach out to touch everything we do. As we explore each rule, keep an open mind. These teachings have been around for a long time, but they're still very useful. They give us ways to handle stress, be healthier, get along better with others, and enjoy each day more. We are going to talk about 10 special rules. Each one has something valuable to teach us about living well. They are like pieces of a puzzle. When we put them all together, they show us a picture of how to be truly well and happy. We ask you to watch this entire video. It's packed with useful tips that can make a big difference in your life. Each rule we discuss is an important part of the whole picture. If you find what we share helpful, please show your support by clicking the like button and subscribing to our Artist at Living channel. When you do this, you help us make more videos like this one. You also become part of a community of people who want to grow and live better lives, just like you. Liking and subscribing means you won't miss out on new ways to improve your health and happiness. So, are you ready to begin? We promise this journey will be interesting and full of things you can use every day. Each rule is a step towards a healthier, happier you. Stay with us, join in. And let's find out together how these ancient teachings can change our modern lives for the better. First, let's talk about meditation and how it brings harmony between our mind and body. Think of meditation as a quiet time for yourself where you can calm your thoughts and feel more at peace. It's not just sitting still. It's an adventure into your own mind, helping you become more relaxed and healthy. Meditation is like a bridge. It connects our busy minds with our busy bodies, helping them work better together. When we meditate, we give ourselves a chance to slow down and take a breath. It's like pressing the pause button in the middle of a hectic day. Starting meditation can be really simple. Find a quiet place, sit comfortably and focus on your breathing. This might sound easy, but it's a powerful way to calm your mind and bring your attention to the present moment. It's like listening to the sound of your own inner world. Buddha, a great teacher from long ago, talked a lot about meditation. He said it was a way to understand ourselves and the world around us better. Through meditation, we can learn to see our thoughts and feelings without getting lost in them. It's like watching clouds pass by in the sky. One amazing thing about meditation is how it can help our bodies feel better. People all over the world use meditation to help with stress, pain and even sleep. It's like a natural remedy that can make a big difference in how we feel. Meditation and science go hand in hand. Researchers have found that when we meditate regularly, it can lower our stress, help us sleep better and even improve our immune system. It's exciting to see science confirming what people have known for a long time. Meditation isn't always about being still. You can meditate while walking in a park or doing gentle exercises like yoga. 
These activities help us stay connected to our bodies and the world around us. It's like moving with mindfulness. Sometimes meditating with others can be really powerful, whether it's in a class or with friends. Meditating together can create a strong sense of peace and connection. It's like sharing a journey of calmness and understanding. Remember, meditation is not just for your mind, it's for your whole self. When we meditate, we're taking care of our minds, our bodies and our emotions. It's a way to bring balance to our entire being. Starting to meditate can be tricky at first, just like any new skill. It takes practice. But don't worry if your mind wanders or if you get distracted. It's all part of the process. The important thing is to keep trying and be kind to yourself as you learn. As you make meditation a part of your life, you'll notice how it changes you. You might feel calmer, more focused, and more in tune with yourself. It's a journey that can lead to a happier, healthier you. So why not give meditation a try? It could be the start of a wonderful journey towards peace and health. And remember, as we explore more rules for a better life, stay with us until the end of this video. Second, let's explore a truly powerful concept, the power of positive thinking. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. When we think positively, we brighten our lives with hope and happiness. This isn't just about being optimistic. It's about changing our whole approach to life. Positive thinking starts in our minds. It's like planting seeds of happiness, health and success in a garden. If we nurture these seeds with good thoughts, they grow into beautiful things in our lives. It's amazing how just changing our thoughts can change our world. The way we think has a big effect on how we feel, both in our minds and our bodies. When we fill our minds with positive thoughts, it's like sending a message to our body to be strong and healthy. It's not about ignoring the bad stuff, it's about focusing more on the good. Buddha taught us about the power of the mind. He said, what we think, we become. If we think positively, we turn into positive people. It's like shaping ourselves out of the thoughts we choose to focus on. But how do we start thinking more positively? It's not always easy, especially when things aren't going well. The key is to try and find something good in every situation, even the tough ones. It's like looking for a silver lining in every cloud. There are many stories of people who have turned their lives around just by thinking positively. These aren't fairy tales, they're real stories about real people who found happiness and success by changing their thoughts. One way to build positive thinking is by using affirmations. These are short, powerful statements that we tell ourselves to boost our mood and confidence. It's like having a personal cheerleader in our mind, encouraging us all the time. Science supports the power of positive thinking too. Studies have shown that people who think positively are generally happier, healthier, and more successful. It's not just a nice idea, it's a fact backed by research. Thinking positively doesn't mean ignoring life's problems, it means facing them with a positive attitude. When we do this, we find better solutions and feel less stressed. It's like wearing armor that helps us deal with whatever life throws at us. Remember, positive thinking is a skill that takes practice, just like learning to play an instrument or a sport. It gets easier and more natural over time. The more we do it, the better we get at it. Finally, positive thinking is contagious. When we're positive, it spreads to the people around us. It's like lighting candles from a single flame. The more positivity we spread, the brighter the world becomes. So, let's embrace the power of positive thinking. Let's fill our minds with thoughts that lift us up and help us grow. It's a journey that can lead us to incredible happiness and success. And remember, as you discover more about these life-changing rules, stay with us until the end of this video. Your support is important, so don't forget to like and subscribe to our Artist at Living channel. 
It helps us bring more content to you and keeps you connected with a community that's all about positive living. Third, let's chat about something that can truly transform our lives, self-love and self-care. Think of them as the roots of a tree. When these roots are strong, our life tree grows healthy and stable. Self-love is all about getting to know and accepting ourselves. It's like building a friendship with yourself. Instead of picking out flaws, it's about recognizing our uniqueness and worth. It's like giving yourself a pat on the back every day. Self-love isn't just a nice idea. It's supported by science. Studies show that when we love and accept ourselves, we're happier and less likely to feel down or anxious. It's like a shield that protects our mental well-being. Self-care can be as simple as taking a leisurely stroll, enjoying a hobby, or ensuring we get enough rest. It's like giving ourselves little presents of time and attention. These acts of self-care send a message to ourselves that we matter. Buddha emphasized the importance of loving and caring for oneself. By looking after ourselves, we become better able to care for others. It's like filling up your tank so you're ready for the journey ahead. But self-love and self-care aren't always easy. In a world that often tells us we're not good enough, overcoming these negative messages is like climbing a mountain. It takes effort, but the view from the top is worth it. Positive affirmations can help build self-love. These are kind words we say to ourselves to boost our self-esteem. It's like having a supportive friend in your head, always ready with a kind word. Setting boundaries is another aspect of self-love. It's okay to say no to things that don't benefit us. This might mean declining extra tasks or distancing ourselves from negative influences. It's like putting up a fence to protect your personal space. Remember, self-love and self-care are journeys, not instant fixes. It's about making small choices every day that add up over time. It's like tending to a garden. You have to nurture it regularly to see it flourish. Sharing this journey can be powerful. Talking to friends or joining a group focused on self-love and self-care keeps us motivated and inspired. It's like walking this path with a supportive community. Embracing self-love and self-care leads to a happier, healthier life. It's not selfish, it's necessary. By taking care of ourselves, we're better equipped to face life's challenges and support others. Let's start this journey of self-love and self-care today. It's a path to a more fulfilling life. And as we continue to explore these life-changing rules, remember to watch the entire video for the full picture. If our videos have helped you, you can show support to our creators by clicking the thanks button under the video. We truly appreciate it, and it helps our channel a lot. Thank you. Fourth, let's dive into something really important. Mindful eating and how it can make us healthier and happier. Mindful eating isn't just about what we eat. It's about how we eat. It's like taking a moment to truly enjoy each bite and noticing how it makes us feel. In the world of mindful eating, every meal is a chance to connect with our body and mind. It's like having a conversation with our food, listening to what our body needs, and responding with care. When we eat mindfully, we're not just feeding our bodies, we're nourishing our souls too. It's a simple yet powerful way to improve our health. The food we choose is important. Eating a variety of wholesome foods like fruits, vegetables, grains and proteins gives our body the nutrients it needs to stay healthy. Each type of food has its own benefits, and when we eat a mix of them, it's like giving our body a toolbox full of tools to keep it running smoothly. Buddhist teachings remind us to think about where our food comes from and how it's made. Choosing foods that are grown and prepared with care and respect can make our meals more meaningful. It's about being kind to the world and to ourselves. Another part of mindful eating is noticing how food affects our mood and energy. 
Have you ever eaten something and then felt really good or tired afterward? That's your body talking to you. By paying attention to these signals, we can learn what foods make us feel our best. Here's a cool fact. When we eat without distractions like TV or phones, we enjoy our food more and feel more satisfied. It's like the difference between watching a movie while you're on your phone and really getting lost in the story. When we're fully present with our food, we tend to eat just the right amount, which is great for our health. But mindful eating isn't always easy. We all have habits like eating too fast or snacking without thinking. Changing these habits takes time and patience. It's like learning to ride a bike. At first it's hard, but with practice it becomes natural. There are many inspiring stories of people who have transformed their health just by eating mindfully. These aren't just stories, they're real-life examples that show us how powerful mindful eating can be. To start eating mindfully, try this at your next meal. Take a moment before you eat to really look at your food, notice the colors and smells, and think about the effort that went into making it. Then eat slowly, savoring each bite, and pay attention to how it makes you feel. Incorporating mindful eating into our daily lives can have a huge impact on our health. It's not just about avoiding certain foods or following strict diets. It's about learning to enjoy and appreciate food in a way that nourishes us completely. As we continue exploring these transformative rules, remember to watch the whole video to get the full picture of how to live a healthier, happier life. And if you're finding these insights helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Artist at Living channel for more content that can brighten your day and improve your health. Fifth, let's talk about something that can make a big difference in our lives. Healthy routines and habits. Imagine these routines and habits as the daily steps on a path leading to a happier, healthier you. They're like the small bricks that build a strong, beautiful house, with the house being our life. Healthy routines start with how we structure our day. It's like setting the stage for a great performance. When we have a good routine, everything flows more smoothly. Think of it as a recipe for a great day. A little work, a little rest, and some fun mixed in. Starting the day right is important. This could be a morning ritual like stretching, taking a short walk, or spending a few quiet moments in reflection. It's like greeting the day with a smile, setting a positive tone for what's ahead. Balancing work and rest is crucial. It's tempting to keep pushing ourselves, but rest is just as important. It's like giving our body and mind the time they need to recharge. Think of it as a balanced scale, where both work and rest have their place. Incorporating exercise into our daily routine is key. Exercise doesn't have to mean hours at the gym. It can be as simple as a brisk walk, dancing in your living room, or doing some yoga stretches. It's like giving your body the gift of movement and strength. Eating habits also play a big role in our routine. Mindful eating, as we've discussed, is about enjoying and appreciating what we eat. It's like adding a dash of mindfulness to every meal, savoring each bite. Sleep is another important part of healthy routines. Getting enough restful sleep is like giving our body a nightly tune-up. Good sleep habits can make a huge difference in how we feel and function during the day. Time management is crucial for maintaining a healthy routine. It's about prioritizing what's important and finding time for it. It's like being the conductor of your own life, making sure every part of your day gets the attention it needs. We all fall into unhealthy habits sometimes, like staying up too late or eating junk food. Breaking these habits takes effort, but it's worth it to see the healthy habits grow. Real-life success stories can inspire us to stick to our healthy routines. Adjusting our routines as our lives change is important. Life is always moving, so our routines should be flexible. It's like adjusting your sails when the wind changes direction. As we embrace these healthy routines and habits, 
we're setting ourselves up for a life of well-being and satisfaction. It's not always easy, but the rewards are worth it. These daily practices are the steps leading to a fuller, more vibrant life. And remember, as we continue to explore these transformative rules, stay with us until the end of this video for a full understanding. Sixth, let's talk about something beautiful and powerful, embracing nature for healing. Think of nature as a wise friend that helps us feel better both inside and out. Just being in nature can be like a soothing balm for our busy minds and tired bodies. Nature has a special way of healing us. It's like stepping into a different world where the air is fresher, the colors are brighter, and the sounds are soothing. Being outside under the sky, surrounded by trees or near water, can help us feel more relaxed and peaceful. Buddhist teachings have always emphasized the importance of being in harmony with nature. It's like understanding that we're part of something much bigger and finding peace in that connection. When we're in nature, we're not just visitors, we're part of the natural world. The health benefits of spending time in nature are amazing. Scientists have found that being in nature can lower stress, improve mood, and even boost our immune system. It's like nature is a natural medicine that helps us feel better in so many ways. There are many simple ways to connect with nature. It could be a walk in a park, a hike in the woods, or just sitting in a garden. Each of these activities brings us closer to the healing power of nature. It's like finding little pockets of peace in our busy lives. Nature also plays a big role in our mental health. Being in natural settings can help us clear our minds and find new perspectives on things that are bothering us. It's like nature helps us press the reset button on our thoughts. Unique healing stories in nature show us the powerful impact it can have. People often talk about feeling a sense of renewal and clarity after spending time in nature. These aren't just stories. They're experiences that show us how healing nature can be. Practicing mindfulness in natural settings takes this healing to another level. When we're mindful in nature, we're fully present in the moment, soaking up all the sights, sounds and smells. It's like we're tuning in to nature's frequency, and that can be incredibly calming and rejuvenating. Being eco-friendly isn't just good for the planet, it's good for us too. When we take care of nature, we're also taking care of ourselves. It's like a circle of care that benefits us, nature and future generations. Overcoming the lack of nature in our modern lives is crucial. Many of us live in cities where nature can be hard to find. But even small connections, like caring for a houseplant or visiting a local park, can make a big difference. It's like finding little ways to keep nature in our lives. Community initiatives for nature conservation are important. When we come together to take care of natural spaces, we're also building a sense of community and shared purpose. It's like we're all working together to create a healthier world for everyone. Embracing nature for healing is about more than just spending time outdoors. It's about recognizing and respecting our deep connection with the natural world. It's a relationship that nourishes us, body and soul, and reminds us of the beauty and wonder that's all around us. And as we continue to explore these transformative rules, stay with us until the end of this video for a complete understanding. If you find these insights helpful, remember to like and subscribe to our Artist at Living channel. Your engagement helps us keep sharing this journey with you and others who are seeking healing and happiness. Seventh, let's talk about something that can truly transform our lives, simplifying for wellness. Imagine your life as a cluttered room. When it's full of stuff, it's hard to find what you need or move around comfortably. Simplifying is like clearing out this room, making space for you to breathe, move and live more freely. Simplifying for wellness starts with understanding what's really important in our lives. It's about figuring out what we need to be happy and healthy and letting go of the rest. This doesn't just mean physical stuff. 
It's also about our commitments, our time and our thoughts. The idea of simplifying is deeply rooted in Buddhist teachings. It's about finding contentment with less and understanding that true happiness doesn't come from having lots of things. It's like learning to appreciate the richness of simplicity. Living a simplified life can have a big impact on our mental and physical health. When our lives are less cluttered, we feel less stressed and more at peace. It's like a weight is lifted off our shoulders and we can find more joy in the little things. One way to simplify is to declutter our spaces. This could mean going through our belongings and keeping only what we really use or love. It's like creating a peaceful sanctuary where we can relax and feel at ease. Another aspect of simplifying is being mindful of how we spend our time. It's about choosing activities that add value to our lives and saying no to things that don't. This way, we can spend more of our time doing things that make us happy and healthy. Simplifying also means being mindful of our thoughts. It's about letting go of worries and negative thoughts that don't serve us well. It's like clearing the clutter from our minds to make room for positive, peaceful thoughts. But simplifying isn't always easy. It can be hard to let go of things or say no to commitments. It's a process that takes time and patience, like slowly tidying up a room that's been messy for a long time. The benefits of simplifying are worth the effort. People who have simplified their lives often talk about feeling freer, lighter and happier. They find more satisfaction in the simple things and feel more connected to themselves and the world around them. One way to start simplifying is to take small steps. Maybe it's cleaning out one drawer or spending a few minutes each day in quiet reflection. Over time, these small steps can lead to big changes in how we feel and live. Simplifying for wellness is about creating more space in our lives for what truly matters. It's a journey towards a more peaceful, joyful and healthy life. It's about finding wellness in simplicity. And as we continue to explore these transformative rules, we encourage you to stay with us until the end of this video. Your understanding will deepen with each rule we discuss. Eighth, let's delve into a fascinating aspect of our lives, harnessing the power of the subconscious mind. Imagine your subconscious as a vast hidden garden just beneath the surface. It influences everything you do, think and feel. By understanding and nurturing this garden, we can transform our lives in profound ways. Our subconscious mind is like a powerful undercurrent that shapes our experiences and behaviors. It's full of beliefs, memories and instincts that we're not always aware of, but which affect us every day. Understanding the role of the subconscious in health is the first step. It's not just about the thoughts we consciously think. It's also about the deeper beliefs and feelings that we carry with us. These hidden thoughts can influence our health in surprising ways. Techniques for influencing the subconscious are varied and powerful. Meditation, visualization and affirmations are tools we can use to plant positive seeds in our subconscious. It's like programming a computer. We input positive codes and the system runs more smoothly. Overcoming subconscious barriers is a crucial part of this journey. Often we have old patterns or negative beliefs buried deep inside. Uncovering and changing these can be like cleaning out old, unused files from a computer, making it run better. Real-life examples of people who have harnessed their subconscious minds are incredibly inspiring. From overcoming fears to achieving great goals, the power of the subconscious is evident in many success stories. These aren't just tales, they're real experiences from real people. Daily practices for engaging the subconscious can be simple yet effective. It could be a few minutes of visualization each morning or repeating positive affirmations throughout the day. These practices are like watering the garden of the subconscious, helping good thoughts and habits grow.
Scientific insights into the subconscious show us just how powerful it is. Research in psychology and neuroscience has revealed that much of our behavior and decision-making is driven by these subconscious processes. It's like discovering there's a hidden driver in the car of our mind. Balancing our conscious and subconscious thoughts is key. While our conscious mind sets goals and makes decisions, our subconscious can either help or hinder us. It's about getting both parts of our mind working together like a team pulling in the same direction. Community and subconscious beliefs are also linked. The beliefs we hold are often influenced by the people around us. By being part of a community that supports positive thinking, we can reinforce these good beliefs in our subconscious. Finally, empowerment through subconscious awareness can be life-changing. When we understand and direct our subconscious, we unlock a level of control and ability we might not have thought possible. It's like discovering a hidden superpower within ourselves. Harnessing the power of the subconscious mind opens up new possibilities for our health and happiness. It's a journey of discovery where we learn to align our deepest beliefs with our highest goals. As we continue to explore these life-changing principles, stay with us until the end of this video for a full understanding. And if these insights resonate with you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Artist at Living channel. Your engagement helps us bring more empowering content to you, and it keeps you connected with a community focused on personal growth and well-being. Ninth. Let's explore an important aspect of our health and well-being, understanding the limitations and opportunities in modern medicine. It's like having a map for a journey, knowing where the path is clear and where we might need to find our own way. Modern medicine has achieved incredible things. It's like a toolbox filled with various tools, from medications to surgeries, that can fix many health problems but it's also important to recognize that this toolbox doesn't have everything. Sometimes the answers we need aren't in there. One of the limitations of modern medicine is that it often focuses on treating symptoms rather than the root cause of an issue. It's like fixing a leak in a boat without finding out why it's leaking in the first place. To truly heal, we need to look deeper and understand the underlying causes of our health issues. However, there are many opportunities in modern medicine, especially when it's combined with traditional practices like those found in Buddhism. It's like using both old and new maps to find the best route. Modern medicine can treat many illnesses, but traditional practices can offer deeper healing and wellness. Balancing Eastern wisdom with Western medicine is key. It's like making a beautiful tapestry from different threads. Each one adds strength and beauty to the whole. We can take the best of both worlds to create a more holistic approach to our health. Being informed and making our own decisions about our health care is crucial. It's like being the captain of your own ship. You listen to advice from others, but ultimately you decide the course. Understanding the benefits and limitations of different treatments helps us make better choices for our health. Preventive health care is another important aspect. It's like building a strong, sturdy fence to keep problems out rather than just fixing things when they go wrong. By taking care of our bodies and minds, we can prevent many health issues before they start. Researching and questioning health information is like being a detective. We need to look at the evidence, ask questions, and not just accept everything we're told. This way, we can find the treatments and practices that are truly best for us. Empowerment in health decisions comes from understanding our options and making choices based on what's best for us, not just following what someone else says. It's like having a compass that helps us navigate the vast sea of medical information. Tenth, let's discover the power of self-healing an empowering journey that can lead to profound changes in our health and happiness. Imagine self-healing as being your own healer, understanding your body and mind, 
and using that knowledge to bring about wellness. Self-healing starts with the belief in our ability to heal ourselves. It's like having faith in your body's natural wisdom. Just as our bodies know how to heal a cut or a cold, they have the potential to recover from bigger challenges if we support them right. The Buddhist path teaches us that our minds and bodies are deeply connected. When we nurture our minds with positive thoughts, our bodies often follow suit. It's like planting seeds of health in a fertile field of the mind. One of the keys to self-healing is understanding our bodies. It's like becoming a detective of your own health, learning to listen to your body's signals and responding with care. Whether it's rest, exercise or nutrition, understanding what your body needs is crucial. Self-healing also involves embracing a holistic approach to health. This means looking at all aspects of our lives, from our diet and exercise to our relationships and mental health. It's like seeing yourself as a whole picture with many parts that all need care. Empowering ourselves through knowledge is crucial. The more we learn about health and wellness, the better we can care for ourselves. This can be through reading, talking to health professionals, or even attending workshops and seminars. Mindfulness practices such as meditation and deep breathing are powerful tools for self-healing. They help us stay connected to our bodies and can bring a sense of calm and balance. It's like having a direct line to your inner self. One amazing aspect of self-healing is the transformation stories. Many people have overcome significant health challenges by focusing on self-healing practices. These stories aren't just inspiring. They show what's possible when we take charge of our health. But remember, self-healing doesn't mean going it alone. Sometimes the best way to heal is to seek support from health professionals, friends or healing communities. It's like building a team that supports your journey to wellness. Daily habits play a big role in self-healing. Small actions like eating healthy, getting enough sleep and managing stress add up over time. They're like the daily steps on a path to better health. Lastly, embracing self-healing is an ongoing journey. It's not about finding a quick fix. It's about making lifelong changes that support your overall well-being. It's a path that requires patience, persistence and self-love. As we continue to explore these life-changing principles, stay with us till the end of this video to fully grasp the power of self-healing. Community education on health and wellness is also vital. It's like sharing our maps and discoveries with others so that everyone can find their way more easily. By learning together, we can all make better choices for our health. Integrating holistic practices with modern healthcare can be incredibly beneficial. It's like combining the strengths of different healing traditions to create a more complete approach to health and wellness. Understanding the limitations and opportunities in modern medicine is about finding the right balance. It's about using all the tools available to us, both modern and traditional, to find the best path to health and wellness. As we continue on our journey exploring these transformative rules, remember to stay with us until the end of this video for a comprehensive understanding. As we come to the end of our journey exploring these transformative rules, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. Think of this journey like a walk through a beautiful, diverse landscape. Each rules a path that leads us to new insights and understandings about our health and well-being. We started with the simple yet powerful practice of mindful eating, learning how our relationship with food can deeply affect our health. Then we discovered the calming and healing power of meditation, a tool to bring peace to our minds and bodies. The journey continued with the uplifting power of positive thinking, showing us how our thoughts can shape our reality. We delved into the importance of self-love and self-care, realizing that treating ourselves kindly is not just a luxury, but a necessity. We learned about building healthy routines and habits, 
the daily steps that lead us to a healthier life. Our exploration then took us to the healing power of nature, reminding us of our deep connection to the natural world. We saw the value in simplifying our lives, making room for what truly matters. Harnessing the subconscious mind opens our eyes to the unseen forces that shape our thoughts and behaviors. We learned about the limitations and opportunities in modern medicine, understanding how to make informed decisions about our health care. Finally, we embraced the concept of self-healing, recognizing our own power to bring about healing and change in our lives. As we close this chapter, remember that each rule is a guide, a light on the path to wellness. We invite you to revisit these rules, apply them in your life, and witness the transformation that unfolds. As we conclude this enlightening journey, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each of you for joining me on this path of self-discovery and growth. Remember, the power to transform your life lies within you. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video to spread the wisdom far and wide. Together, let's continue to inspire and uplift one another on our quest for a more fulfilling existence. Your support helps us to continue sharing valuable wisdom and connecting with a community dedicated to health, happiness, and personal growth. If our videos have helped you, you can support our creators by clicking the thanks button under the video. We really appreciate it. It helps our channel a lot. Until next time, stay blessed, stay mindful, and keep shining bright. Namaste from all of us at Artist at Living.